Okay. Everything is a 10. We're going to do power legs, plank, power legs, plank, power legs, plank. Again, only 10. So let's go ahead and start with our starters. I'm just scared copy away. All the way down here, it is a start. We're starting the race with a power knee and then demonstrate one. Up and down. So we have 10 of those on the right, 10 of those on the left. And I'll meet you down on the floor for planks. Get going. Oh. 
So make sure you have three miles. Here's so this. Get that gun. Squeeze it tight. Squeeze that butt tight. Alright. Again, go from the side. Here's my squat, right? 
Power starters, hands on the floor. Tens are number. Straight knee. Suck the belly button in, chin to your chest, separate your shoulder blades. And then reverse. Passing through neutral, we're going to take the top of the head and the tailbone up. So notice I didn't let my rib cage or my low back sag, okay? So passing through neutral, let's do cat stretch again. And cow. Neutral, and then just point the top of the head to the tailbone up. And 
cat. Neutral and cow neutral. Sit back, child's pose. So stretch those arms forward. Relax that low back. Whoo! Take both arms over to the right, stretching the left side of the torso. And center. Now take the arms to the other side. Again, stretching that torso. I even feel it all the way down my elbow, forearm to my pinky. And back to center. And puppy dog pose. So I like to grab the edge of my towel, slide it out to butts up in the air, forehead, chin down. So this is for the mid back. We're extending the mid back right about your bra strap area, extending that area of the spine. Normally, when we're sitting down at our desk, we're in a hunch position or on the bike, we're also rounded. So really work on focusing, extending. Let gravity pull it downward. Just relax. Don't force it. Take big, deep breaths each time you exhale. Focus on bringing that rib cage sternum closer to the floor. And all the way out to our stomachs. And still working on that portion of the rib cage. Take your right arm about two o'clock, bend your left, and roll over. So we're going to bring the shoulder forward, opening up the chest. And my back cracked right there. Switch sides, left hand, 10 o'clock. Bend the right knee, shoulder forward as you roll back, opening up that chest. Again, all of this is to reverse what we've done all day. So obviously doing it just one time for 10 seconds isn't gonna fix or cure anything. Practice this during the day, periodically. Even if you don't wanna lay down on the floor, do this against the wall. Just face the wall and put your hands at 10 o'clock and two o'clock. Hmm. And back to center. Now, we're gonna start getting into the lower portion of the back. Hands under the rib cage. Press the rib cage up, slow, 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 slow. Shoulders down and back, opening up the chest. Squeeze that bum tight, pushing the hip, hip bones towards the floor. So, again, we're going in reverse to what we do all day. All day our legs are in front of us, so let's put them behind us. Open up the chest, open up the hip flexors, open up the abdomen. And down and rest. But we're going to do that again. Inhale. Exhale, slowly press it up again. See if you can go a little bit higher this time. Squeeze that bum tight, hip bones towards the floor. Open up the chest. So if you look like this, you've gone too high, okay? Really wanna get that open. See how I'm curling in the opposite direction? 
Really want to bend that spine in the opposite direction. So if you look like stiff as a board, come down to your elbows and focus on squeezing that bottom to the floor, okay? Anchor that pelvis down. And I know some of you are more bendable than me, which is good. I'm not very bendy. So if you could do more than me, go for it. Don't let me hold you back. Don't let me steal your thunder. And child's pose. Now we're gonna get even lower back, like, like right here, right where our pants sit. Open up the knees, we're gonna start off with the groin. Because our hip flexors, I know this sounds crazy, hip flexors are attached to the spine and the inside of the spine here. So sometimes you feel that right here, if you're like, you feel like your tailbone wants to crack or your SI joint wants to crack and right in that lower area, that is where your hip flexors attach all the way in that low back area. So if we can stretch the hip flexors, stretch the groin, we can stop that pull on the spine. Now I'm coming forward so that my hip bones are in alignment with my knees. So you can open up those knees a little bit more. And then bring those hip bones forward even more, 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 north of the knees. See how low you can go, opening up that groin. So if you think about it, we sit all day, most of us, with our legs together, right? We cross it at the ankles, we cross it at the knees. Nonetheless, the knees are together. So our adductors are much tighter than our abductors. So we got to create balance. And let's push it all the way back, hips to the heels. Oh boy! And bring those knees together. Ooh. And sit. All right, on our hands and knees, take one foot forward, giant lunge, slide the other one back. Open up those hips again, drop that hip bone, open up the knee, open up that groin. Now, hands on the floor, Roll over onto that ankle. Look at I don't have any weight on that leg. See that? There's no weight on that leg. It's all of my arms. But we're going to roll that ankle to the side and then play with that knee, opening it up. Now, at the same time, make sure this hip bone stays open. That hip joint stays open. I don't want the bottom up in the air. I want it down and low, opening up that hip flexor. And again, you can play around with that other hip. Relax the chest, open up the shoulders, or open up the chest, relax the shoulders, lengthen that neck. That's what I meant to say. And let's take that foot flat, stick your butt out for a hamstring stretch, right here. So, believe it or not, those tight hips are going to lead to low back pain. So the looser we can get the hips, the less movement your back has to take on. Does that make sense? So if this joint, my hips, which has lots of muscle, gets tight and can't take the load, above and below will take the load and take the torque and take the turn. 
So a lot of times our low back will be doing all the movement that our hips should be doing, or our knees will take the movement that our hips should be doing. So if you're like, wow, you know, I've been having hip, I've been having knee and low back pain, well then probably tight hips. And if you know you have tight hips, well then ding, 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 switch. Ah. Uh, now I, on the other hand, have very loose hips, <laughs> so if it's my knee or my back, it's probably because I've done something to my knee or my back. <laughs> Drop those hips. No big surprise there. Open up. I'm down on that side of that ankle. Again, look at I don't have any weight on that leg. Open up that back hip flexor. I like to wiggle jiggle into that hip joint. Feel it nice and deep in there. Way, way deep. Poppy has fallen asleep, laying down, staring at the refrigerator. <laughs> so if you thought you were bad, <laughs> oh, to be a dog. All right, let's get that foot flat and then shift the hips back, hamstring stretch. My hamstrings definitely felt it today. And oh, knees together. Go ahead and crisscross applesauce. We'll twist the spine, inhale, open up the chest, exhale, rotate to the right. So sitting in your chair at your desk periodically through the day, twist that spine, but inhale, lengthening the, the spine, and then exhale, rotate a little bit more. And slowly bring it center. All right. Inhale up, exhale, rotate. Remember, it's 10 seconds that we do these stretches. It's not enough. You've got to do this periodically throughout the day. Inhale up and exhale, rotate. And slowly bring it back to center. Circle those shoulders backwards for three, two, one. Take a deep breath, up, out. Make social distance, hug, and I'll see you tomorrow.